Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be covering how to use cheap budget alternatives to replace my four most expensive gear slots. And by cheap alternatives, I mean items we can find on the trade website that range between 5 chaos and 1.5 exalted orbs, depending on the gear slot. Now, let's start with the most daunting item, which would be the weapon. I feel like the weapon can be hard for new players to purchase effectively because it can have up to six damage mods. And my build has a weapon that has the full six damage mods. But we need to cut some of them in order to go on a budget. So we'll have to only look for the most important ones. So I've made a trade search right here and let's go over it. The first group up here are the most important prefixes we can get. The most important would be a really high spell damage roll, followed by a plus one to the level of spark. There are two ways to get a high spell damage roll, and there are two ways to get a plus one to spark. And then the third most important would be flat lightning to spells, and I've included that as well, and we're just looking for a count of two. Now for the suffixes, the two most important are high cast speed and high global critical strike multiplier. And I have a count of one here to make this cheap. And then we're going to look for an open suffix at the same time, which means we can craft on the missing uh, piece. So as we search, there are 100 results online. There are 362 matches that exist in the entire league, even offline. They start at 5 chaos orbs, quickly go up to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 50. Like, there are a lot under 1 exalted orbs. So, let's look at the cheapest ones. Uh, this one right here, high spell damage, that's really nice. And it has the flat damage, which is third best. And it has cast speed, which is great. We also have implicit that has fall damage, pretty high implicit. So I would say this is definitely a buy for five chaos. It's been up for seven days. Um, this next one looks really similar to the first one, except it has crit multi instead of cast speed. Um, now the next one, this one's 10 chaos and, uh, well, it has much better, uh, flat, it has cast speed. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this one. So let's plug this into POB. Now, if you choose something that has crit multi, do not spend one exalted orb on the very high cast speed, just spend the four chaos. So you're gonna be crafting 17% cast speed instead of 21%. But if you buy something like I'm simulating that already has the cast speed, you can go for the top crit multi because the top crit multi is only four chaos anyways. So. We have cast speed, so we're gonna craft on crit multi for four chaos. So this is a 14 chaos wand. My damage is 3.56 million without. And when I take off my like 20 to 25 exalted orb dagger and we put on this doombane tornado wand, our damage goes down to 3 million. So we lose about 16% damage, although we're paying 14 chaos instead of 25 exalted orbs. So that's a pretty good compromise to make. So I will include this search for you guys. And let's move on to item number two, which is my shield. So as we look at my shield, I'd say this shield is worth somewhere between maybe four to 10 exalted orbs. We have, in terms of 
offensive stats. We have a plus one level to our spark. We have a hundred percent critical strike chance. And for defensive stats, we have very high life roll. We have a high chance to block spell damage. We have high uh, life regeneration. So we're gonna have to make some compromises and I would probably suggest cutting out the defensive stats because my character is really, really beefy. Like I basically never die. And if we're going on a budget, we're going to have to be okay with dying sometimes, I think. So let's look at some shields. So this is a search for an offensive shield. Now, the compromise here is we're looking for either it will have a life roll of 60, it will have some prefix crafted on that we're going to take off to craft life, or it will just not have any prefixes, which means we're going to craft life. And now here you see there's a count of zero because these are all the luxury defensive stats, and we're not even looking for that. But if you want, to spend a little bit more, more money, you can have a count of one here. And now as you see, it's like 20 chaos, quickly goes up to one exalted orb. So you might wanna check with a one count up here to see if you can squeeze in a little bit of extra defense. But we're going super budget. So I'm gonna set this default to zero. You guys can change this on your own and see if you can get a good deal but we're only looking for offensive stats, which is down here. So we're looking for two good offensive stats. And the stats we're filtering for are a level to our spark, high spell damage, and high critical strike chance. So there are 84 online, and there are almost 400 that exist, including the offline. And these start as cheap as two chaos, Quickly go up to 10 chaos, 15, 20, now around 50. But you scroll very far until they get to one exalted orb, which means there's quite a bit of supply of these. So let's look at the first few. Um, so the benefit of, us of using a shield is we can equip Tempest Shield, which is part of my build. It's very good defensively. And you also get the inherent chance to block up here, which is somewhere between 20 and 25. Um, and that's attack block. You could use two daggers, but then you would also, you wouldn't be able to use Tempest Shield and you wouldn't have the attack block and you wouldn't have the extra life as well. So... Up here we have the crit chance and plus one to level of lightning spells and really nothing else, but it's two chaos. This is really cheap and it's a good base. Now we could spend three more chaos to get some spell block. These are similar. Um, Yeah, all of these are pretty similar, so I'm just going to go with the two chaos, Dusk Star, Titanium, Spirit Shield. So we're going to put this on, and we are going to craft maximum life. All right. So our damage right now dropped to 3 million and now we're going to take off my shield for a dusk star and our damage drops to 2.9 so we went from 3 million to 2.9 um that is like a three percent drop in damage so you're, you're losing a little bit of defense um but you're not losing too much actually so this shield is very easy to replace we just spent two chaos on a shield that basically didn't change anything. We lost a bit of spell block. Who cares? 
So the third piece of gear is the body armor, which I have a guide on how to craft on my channel. I would suggest eventually going to craft this with the guide because it does add a lot of damage and it's not too hard to craft. But for the time being, we're going to have to find a cheaper way to craft this body armor. Um, so this filter is searching for either shaper or hunter influence. It needs to be six links needs to have at least one energy shield to make the socket coloring easy. It needs to be item level 84 to hit the damage roll we want, and it needs to be uncorrupted. So there are 181 options online. It starts at one exalted orb. Um, it goes up to one and a half, then two. There are quite a few available. There's 500 total, including the offline. So I bought one right here, and in order to craft this, it's going to take on average seven deft fossils. These fossils cost around three chaos each. They add more critical modifiers. So I only have five, so we're going to have to get lucky to actually hit this ourselves. Um, an alternative you can use is the harvest crit which i actually also have so actually we'll just start with that because this is essentially free reforge crit modifiers um we hit it um t1 spell critical strike chance so that was a one in seven odds and we hit it and would you look at that, we have an open prefix, which means we can craft maximum life. Actually, you know, you would want to craft, gain 10% of maximum life as maximum energy shield, but I don't even have that craft, so I'm going to have to craft the maximum life for 4 chaos. Alright, so... Obviously there's a trade-off, because with the body armor we also get the frenzy charges... We also get more spell crit chance because we elevated it, but uh, I mean, for one exalted orb and a couple harvest crafts, this is not too bad. This is very cheap. So one exalted orb body armor. So let's plug this in to POB and see how it changes our damage. So, so far we dropped about What, like 20% damage, but we saved like 30x about. Now, let's put this on. And we go from 2.9, or basically 3, the 2.99, so 3 million down to 2.6. So 2.9, 2.6. So we lost around 11 to 12% damage, but. This body armor is quite a bit more expensive than one exalted orb, so on a budget, this is pretty good. All right. Now, for the last slot, we're going to talk about the boots. These boots cost around 20 exalted orbs, and they're purely for quality of life. Um, well, they do give us damage, but mostly... I use them so we can go really, really fast. They have the lab enchant for movement speed. They have 30% increased movement speed. We have onslaught, which is 20% move speed and also cast speed. So that's like a damage and movement speed mod. We have elusive on crit and we have tailwind on crit. And tailwind is some pretty good action speed as well as movement speed. So we're going to have to replace this with something budget. Um, so here is the filter for that. We are searching for it must have Tailwind because in my opinion Tailwind is the most important of the bonus mods on here. And we want to also have life as well as high movement speed. But it's cheaper if we craft one of them ourselves. So we're just looking for a count of two. And then we'll craft whichever is missing. So there's 353 of these online. 
800, including offline. We start at 1.2 exalted orbs, and as you can see, we have tailwind and we have movement speed, and we have an open prefix to craft on the life. And the next one, we have a life and tailwind, and then we'll have to craft on the movement speed, and just so on and so forth as you scroll down. Cost but two exalted orbs um pretty quickly but there are a few for 1.2 all right well i think this about wraps up this video hopefully i showed you guys how to successfully make some very smart gearing choices on a budget under three exalted orbs now the items we replaced altogether were around 25x plus 20x plus 5x plus maybe 10 exalted orbs. I'm not too sure what the materials for this cost today, but uh, I would be like 60 exalted orbs down to three. And our POB went down from 3.5 to 2.5. 2.5 is still very respectable damage. All right, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.